Good afternoon from Cranbrook Canadian Rockies International Airport. My name is Alex and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here in southeastern British Columbia to fly to Vancouver with Pacific Coastal Airlines. Pacific Coastal, or otherwise known by their call sign as PASCO, is one of Canada's largest regional airlines and they fly exclusively within British Columbia. They operate a fairly sizable fleet of turboprops from their main hub in Vancouver, from Beach 1900C and D models up to the Saab 340A and 340B. Cranbrook, British Columbia is a small city nestled in a valley on the western slopes of the Canadian Rocky Mountains with a population of around 20,000. It's also home to a relatively small airport with one 8,000 foot runway, which at the time of uploading had service from Air Canada and Pacific Coastal to Vancouver, as well as WestJet Link to Calgary. As this was recorded back in August this year, I flew here just a few hours prior on the latter flight from Calgary. Admittedly, few people would willingly choose to fly from Calgary to Vancouver through Cranbrook, and of course there are dozens of direct flights between Calgary and Vancouver each day, but where's the fun in that? I had a great time flying with Pacific Coastal for the first time back in November last year, and I was more than happy to fly with them again out of a new airport. It may be on the smaller side of things, but the terminal looks really nice. There was plenty of seating, great information about the region, and was very clean. They do also have a little cafe pre-security, which was closed for obvious reasons. Even post-security though, I really like the look of the waiting area. It's almost like a mini YVR, if you can call it that. Now today's flight was actually supposed to be flown by one of Pacific Coastal's Beach 1900s, but for whatever reason, they sent Charlie Foxtrot Papa Charlie Zulu, one of their Saab 340Bs. This was definitely a pleasant surprise. The Saab 340B is the largest aircraft that Pacific Coastal flies, with 34 seats in an all-economy layout. They also fly three of these on behalf of WestJet, for some of their commuter flights. Although I've flown the WestJet Link Saabs already, and they are identical in every respect, except for the teal paint, this is a new livery and a new registration for me. At the time, Pacific Coastal had an open seating policy on all of their aircraft meaning seats are first come, first serve as you board. I had mentioned this to the gate agent, hoping I could grab an exit row seat, and they very graciously let me board early. So let's go see what it's like flying a proper Pacific Coastal Saab 340. Ramp boarding is one of my favorite parts of flying these turboprops, and today was no exception. For this flight over the mountains to Vancouver, I picked seat 2F, the bulkhead exit row at the very front of the cabin. There's plenty of legroom here for yours truly, as well as this great view of the engine. These sobs do have one flight attendant on board, who sits immediately facing the window seat on the other side. It was blocked off for this flight though, possibly for COVID related reasons. Although the window was a little scratched up, I thought I'd take my chances in this seat as opposed to the exit row over the wing. The views flying over the mountains are already spectacular from a jet at 30,000 plus feet, let alone from a turboprop at 20,000, so I knew we'd be in for a pretty cool flight either way. Here's our departure from Cranbrook off of runway 16.
leveled off at 16,000 feet initially, heading westbound over the numerous mountain ranges that make up British Columbia's interior. Despite the scratched up windows, these views were everything I'd hoped for. On their Saab 340s, Pacific Coastal has the usual air sickness bag and the safety card. Normally, they'd also have an in-flight magazine, but again, 2020. I will say though, the cabin did feel very clean, and there were only about 18 people on the flight. The Saab 340 is configured with a 1-2 configuration, with the very last row having 4 seats across. Another peculiarity of this aircraft are these unusually low armrests all throughout the cabin. In the bulkhead row as well, there are no built-in tray tables. Instead, they actually plug into the armrests. I'm not quite sure how that works, but it's another quirk of this regional airliner. Because there was no in-flight service for obvious reasons, there's not that much else to say, so I think I'll let the views do the talking. Here's us cruising over the spectacular peaks of interior British Columbia and descending into Vancouver for a sunny arrival on runway 08 right. Overall, this was a really enjoyable flight with Pacific Coastal's Saab 340. Cranbrook was a great little airport. It's nice to add another regional destination to my list, and I did like flying through there. Pacific Coastal is a fantastic airline as well. Everyone there was so friendly, from the gate agent in Cranbrook to the cabin crew on board. Just a really pleasant flight. It's the different sort of regional airliner feel that you hear me talk a lot about on this channel, but they are something that I genuinely enjoy flying on for all of those reasons. Obviously, it would have been nice to have a little snack on board, but I'm just grateful to be flying at all. This year's been a challenging one for everybody, and I'm looking forward to flying with Pacific Coastal again sometime in 2021. Thanks for watching this trip report with Pacific Coastal. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, consider becoming a channel member, and I will see you next time.